Recently, Boston Dynamics unveiled Atlas. It's basically a robot that looks like a human. The robot's feet allow it to traverse rough terrain while running and jumping, and it even has hands now. The Atlas robot suddenly transformed from an agile pack mule to something more like a human. It now has the ability to pick stuff up and put it down. It has two fingers, one fixed and one moving. This gives it more of a claw-like grip. The grippers, according to Boston Dynamics, were first shown off in a Super Bowl commercial in which Atlas was seen holding a keg above its head. The video released showing the grippers picking up construction wood and a nylon tool bag. To create a bridge, the Atlas picks up a 2x8 and sets it in between two boxes. It then goes ahead and grabs a bag of tools, sprinting across the bridge and squeezes through the scaffolding used for building. However, the tool bag has to travel to the second floor of the building, which Atlas evidently knew and immediately threw the bag a far distance. The Atlas robot finished this video with a trick shot, hitting an inverted 540 degree multi-access flip. Whether you're a robot or a human, a 540 degree flip is something that's extremely impressive. Boston Dynamics Atlas is a research device and it isn't available for purchase yet. It's been the center of numerous popular viral videos for a long time now and has successfully illustrated Boston Dynamics robotic capabilities. Boston Dynamic is ahead of its competition as very few competitors have demonstrated talents comparable to those of Atlas. So far, NASA's Robonaut is the only other robot in the world that has grippers that resemble human hands. But it still remains unclear about how this robot was able to do this. Was it designed to carry out these tasks in a specific order? Or was it controlled by a remote control? Or have we finally reached a point where artificial intelligence is capable of making its own decisions? For the first time, both Atlas robots have completed the complex obstacle course flawlessly, or almost perfectly. The first of the two robots navigated the course set up on the second story of the Boston Dynamics headquarters by running up a series of banked plywood panels, jumping a gap, and running up and down steps. The first robot sprang onto a balance beam, took the same steps backward, leaped onto the beam, and then vaulted over the beam. Both executed two backflips in perfect time and the film crew recorded each maneuver. However, despite spending months perfecting this procedure, the robotic engineers barely took a moment to celebrate. They gathered together, making adjustments before the next take, just as the cameras cut. Even while the most recent try was almost flawless, it wasn't quite there. One of the robots was supposed to complete a celebration dance after completing the course. This would look like a major league pitcher does after following a game-ending strikeout. The motion is known as the cha-ching by the Atlas team. The robot did pump its arm, but it also made a few mistakes with the straightforward action. Most viewers of the video would have never detected the little stutter step that was there. However, the Atlas staff is meticulous and strives for perfection. According to the Atlas team lead, We hadn't run that behavior after the backflip before today, so that was an experiment. If you closely study the video, it appears a little uncomfortable. He also stated that they're planning to replace it with a behavior that has been tested before. The level of perfection on the show was impressive, and it seems that this kind of focus on detail is what has led to the development of robots that can carry out such advanced, seemingly impossible routines. It might appear strange at first, but it quickly becomes clear. What difference does it make if Atlas stutters while it pumps its fist? Why does it matter whether or not it pumps its fist at all? And while we're at it, what use does it serve to put the robots through an obstacle course? Why the vault? Why the backflips? And why the stacked plywood panels? Boston Dynamics has actually been contacted about this numerous times for research. However, the most that they've ever said is that they're adding new capabilities to the robots. The focus now is around parkour and dance movements. They believe that the robot has to be able to complete these activities with a measure of human speed. This has necessitated some significant modifications to the control software because people are quite skilled at these activities. 
According to Boston Dynamics, Atlas danced to the tune, Do You Love Me, while acting blind, lacking the perception necessary to react to its surroundings. One of the lead software engineers also mentions that parkour forces us to grasp the physical limitations of the robot, and dance forces us to think about how accurate and dexterous the whole body motion can be. At this point, he stated that they're working on interpreting the data, that way they can make sure that Atlas is able to use its hands for more complex movements. Alongside the cool parkour moves in the video, Atlas was also seen pushing a box off a ledge. This demonstrates that Atlas knows how to transfer its weight correctly so that it doesn't topple forward off of the platform. Now the company wants to apply this technology to actual physical labor. According to the Atlas team lead, our hope is that if we can build the foundational technology that allows us to easily create and adapt dynamic behaviors like these, we should be able to leverage it down the road to perform real physical demanding jobs with hustle. Boston Dynamics revealed a new robot named Stretch in 2021, designed to execute one very specific warehouse job, transporting boxes. Boston Dynamics stated that there is numerous parts required to give a full solution in a market like manufacturing or construction. Elon Musk is also working on humanoid robots. In October, Mr. Musk unveiled a prototype of Tesla's Optimus robot. It was seen waving to the audience and performing routines like picking stuff up and putting stuff down. Elon Musk claimed that Tesla plans to build millions of these very capable robots named Optimus. He even quoted that they should cost around $20,000 each. It's really easy to overlook how much the team has accomplished when looking back at the 5 years of Atlas videos. While they clearly represent a huge leap in technology, some of the enhancements are barely visible to the ordinary viewer. In earlier videos, we've seen Atlas perform dive rolls, handstands, and backflips. But the underlying mechanisms for coordinating such actions have changed. The movements of Atlas are now guided by perception while they weren't before. In earlier videos, the goal was to demonstrate how they could combine a range of dynamic techniques into a routine that they could perform repeatedly. In that case, the robot wasn't sensing or responding to its environment. This means the control system still had to make a lot of urgent adjustments to preserve balance and posture goals. What makes this most recent video so outstanding from Atlas is that it was actually reacting to its environment. This means that not every platform and gap was pre-programmed. Instead, a smaller number of online executable template behaviors were customized to the environment created by the team. One of the senior control engineers on the Atlas team even stated that the banked corner was something that they added later on in the process. They were able to quickly build a prototype that they enhanced using a combination of simulation and robot testing using technologies created for making jog motions in other contexts. The Atlas control team uses simulation as a crucial development tool to test out new behaviors before putting them to the test with a robot. This ensures that they don't have to tinker with the software before making sure that it actually works. But hardware testing is still necessary, especially for maneuvers like vaulting that limit performance. So what are your thoughts on the new Boston Dynamic robots? Let me know in the comment section below.